how you guys doing? I am Chris Clark. I am doing. I am your host for today for the Schmodown reaction of Take Three Productions. This week it is Sam Levine versus JTE. This is going to be a fun match, and I'm not usually a host here, so hopefully I'm doing a good job. I am here with Malcolm. Malcolm. Wow, did I say Malcolm? I said Manning. I didn't mean to call you Malcolm Manning. I was just on a live stream with Man Malcolm. This is going off. This is going off quick. <laughs> How, how you doing, Manning? How you doing? Me. You're yeah, talking you. to me. I'm talking to you. Okay. I can be Malcolm. You're talking to me. There's no one else here, so I think you're talking. Okay. Yeah. That joke's dead. Um, but yeah, excited to be here. Um, I, I can't believe you called me Malcolm. I, I'm just, I'm just still trying to process that, how that happened. But I'm excited to see what happens. This has been a long time coming. Um, a lot of technical issues have plagued us this past week, but we will not. Be moved. You hear me, internet, and all technical. We will not be moved. Nope. And Jen, how are you doing, girlfriend? I'm very excited to finally get the finals here. This has been a long time coming, it feels like. And I'm so happy to see JT in the finals. So, oh, it's it's going to be a tough match. But, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait either. So what we are going to do, guys, is we are going to press play. I, okay, you know, before we do that, uh, see, this is me being a bad host. Manning, who do you have? <laughs> who do I have currently? Yes. Oh, jeez. This is... This is a tough one. Oh, uh, no. Because... I, I, I didn't... I, this is not who I expect to be in the finals, in mm -hmm. general. However, at this moment, with the hot streak that is going on right now, <laughs> I, I, I think I have Sam Levine taking this. Although, don't, do not underestimate Sam Levine. Do not underestimate Sam, wait, Sam Levine. I, I picked Sam Levine. Wow, this is going great, guys. JTE, do not underestimate. Don't underestimate either of them. See, they're both very good competitors. I and mean, because of this, they made it to the finals. And who would have thought? You know, this isn't like a Bibiani, this isn't a Bibiani v. Drew McQueen, or this isn't a Roca v. Um, uh, uh, Andraco or whomever. This is a JTE versus Sam Levine, and I'm ready to see what happens. But right now, I think it got Sam. Mm -hmm. Jen, who do you have? I, I have JT. I couldn't find my Patriots hat, but so I figured this is the closest thing I have. Uh, but <laughs> uh, but basically, like no one expected these two to get here, which is kind of unfair because they're both really strong competitors, as we've seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Sam Levine, he is a gentleman and a scholar, and I love watching him. But he just has this bad luck of going up against my favorite competitors, so I've never been able to fully put my backing behind Sam Levine because JT is here. Every day I'm hero. He's going to win. He's going to win. Oh. And I'm here to put my curse on to Sam Levine. So I hope oh, Sam, no. I hope Sam, you win. Wink, wink. So JTE uh. can go into the final. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Anyway, let's, let's press play y'all. You ready to press okay. play? In five, you are, sir. Yep. In five, four, three, two, one, play. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, what do we got here? No. Oh, oh, this is all. Hello there. Wait, Yay. This one's mine. I love these that... behind the scenes oh, with that. This is perfect. Yes. I love. Yeah, this is the thing I never knew I wanted, and I'm so yeah. glad it's a thing. I would have preferred if Thad was actually at his desk again, and Chris came to him. It'd be a recurring joke. Thad can't get any work done. You needed me for the announcing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're you're you've got that golden voice. No, thank you, thank you. I mean, no, it feels good to be back announcing. Thad's done a good job. I'll do it as long as you need me. Absolutely. That's kind of what you wanted to talk about, or? Yeah. I mean, like. I love that they keep saying like, "Oh, Christian's back" and everything, but like, I feel like he didn't leave. I yeah. know. Like, been here. Stuff. I mean, I, I was on you can't get rid of. And, and I, I stand by my thought that I feel like when you when you've got the belt, yeah, probably shouldn't be commissioner. I but that's is that cool with I you? I don't disagree with at all. To be honest, it's a lot. You've been doing. You've been crushing it, by the way. Thank you. Um, and it, w with this, and then with the tournament and everything, I think it's probably the best plan for now, for as long as I do. Mm -hmm. You should be running it, so we'll do a handshake. And He's we'll losing it. it. We'll call it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, hey, oh, right. no, don't you know, say I'll such things. Him and his contracts. Thank you for having me, and, and I'm excited. You're doing a great job. Thank it's going to be great. I am very excited to be participating today in the Ultimate Schmodown Singles Tournament. Nothing would give me greater joy than Ooh. to face Christian Harloff in the Schmodown Spectacular. He is glorious one. 
<laughs> Still has the best intro music. Or one of the best. This is interesting. That is correct. I can't believe he did that. I'm sorry. I'm just, yeah, yeah, look away, Clark. Look away. Mm -hmm. Centered content. <laughs> it's just for his screen. It's like, I don't see what you guys are saying. It's all blurred. That is a tough one. I mean, Jason Newman is a fierce competitor. I have watched his matches. That guy knows his stuff. And he's a he's a decent person. John Roca, on the other hand, <laughs> is a is a monster. I love how snarky Sam has form. gotten. He's getting and, more uh, confident. Oh, it's bringing everything up. I love it. <laughs> it's definitely. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I, okay. Now we've heard that wonderful uh, tone again. Um, his his snark on the mic is nearly almost. Unrivable? Un yeah. It's right. subdued. Like, he doesn't get all in your face, right. but it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Unrivaled. You got it. I got, got it? it? Okay. I was I had the weirdest, like, huh, I'm in college. I should know this word. word. <laughs> that English minor is not helping. <laughs> no. I think it's a minor. Hi, Miss Rachel. <laughs> I would have loved Rachel in the final, but okay. I can't pull off I know, I wanted, I wanted Rachel and JT. That would have been really interesting. That would have been really cool. Oh, I can't wait to hear the smack talk. I'm so excited. I really feel like I have a chance to win the belt, and I'm here to prove it. I'm sorry, Viviani, William the Beast Viviani. I made him William the Beacon fest. Viviani. He's a snooze fest. The Godfather. I don't know what he's gonna be. He's gonna be an old man at home or something. He's gonna be in a wheelchair. He's gonna be retired. The three. I don't have it. Two. JT. One. We're going to sudden yes! Yes! Uh, three, three Musketeers. Comes down and Drew. Uh, Kim Basinger. JTE. Kim Basinger. He's all right. It's one more. Here we go. That was a great match. Both correct. Wow. Right. I think that's still the best of the tournament. Kevin Bacon. Drew. I mean, the question remains, have we had, we've had sudden death before with, um, um, oh yeah, um, uh, well, Ellis and, uh, yeah, Stacy went to stumble, yeah, yes, winners, winners don't care about losers, which was sad, until yeah. somebody can take these belts from us, that was my Indeed. roommate, guys, <laughs> really, just let you know, really, it wasn't just a random person walking into my house stealing stuff, I swear, really, okay. we're gonna see what happens, and all the belts will be here, do you need assistance, are you no, under, I don't, I will, I will blink twice, <laughs> wait, wait, I will no, that doesn't help, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was awesome, we have, there haven't been many, like, I guess, poor matches so far this tournament. There have been, like, a couple, I know, but most of them have been really good. Yeah. People have brought their A game to these, and even those who are amazing and brought their, like, B game. I wonder if anyone actually got the bracket right, because that would be amazing. I haven't even kept up, because I'm like, I'm, it's, it's over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my bracket's pretty much dead. And you've got, look, and so Little Evil... <laughs> No, it's not even dead. It's been mutilated. <laughs> it's been mutilated over and over. <laughs> yes. It's like Just stop back and forth across. This is something else. Um, like, stop. He's already dead. What Drew and I have accomplished <laughs> in the team tournament, uh, we we beat Team Action. We won the team tournament, and I impossibly, without the aid of my fearless partner, have somehow made it all the way to the finals in the singles tournament. This is beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> and the second M is for moron. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Here we are again. My predictions are correct. This guy's fighting for the championship, clearly. And once he wins and beats Harloff, because I'm already looking past Sam Levine. That's easy to do. Your buddy Harloff <laughs> won't be the champion anymore. You know, every time I look at that wheel, every time I read it, Thank you, Andrew, numbers, I'm really oh, just trying well, to avoid like two or three categories that I feel like I'm not that strong in, which means the bulk of the categories I feel great with. So I think it's just a matter of not getting unlucky, and I've been fortunate enough to do that this time. 
Tom, can you do me a favor? Remind me who this Joker actually had to play to play me. Of course, buddy. I think he beat <laughs> the overrated Bibiani. Ah, William the Bee and Bibiani. Uh -oh. yeah, I beat him. <laughs> I beat I'm sorry, person. Clark. Uh, I can't believe you said that in front of me. Uh, <laughs> I think it was uh, uh, overrated. Yes. Um, who should are we, are you still sharing me for life, Sam? Yeah, so mm -hmm. he's basically had a cakewalk to this oh, match. Okay. There is a huge revenge factor at play. Cakewalk? He knocked Drew McWeeny, my rider, die out. In the first round were amazing, guys. Come of on. the singles tournament. First round. Everyone, including me, had Drew to go the whole way on this thing. And uh, and so there is definitely some vengeance at play here. Oh, uh, wait. What's that, Sam? Are your feelings hurt? Because I beat your idol, your hero, Drew. You want a little bit of revenge? Boo -hoo. That's real cute, man. I'm sorry, buddy, but this is not where you want to come to when it comes to revenge. I'm going to just... I admire the Lions Den and all their all their trash talk. I guess they say it's going to be a cakewalk for JTE to beat me. I just hope JTE does not have to spell cakewalk <laughs> on his whiteboard <laughs> at any point during the match. Otherwise, I win by default. Bottom line, Sam, you're a loser. With two L's. Poof. Wow. <laughs> Look, Sam was basically, you know, took took the shot at uh, at JT and said he probably because you know, JT said it would be a cakewalk, and Sam said he probably doesn't know how to spell cake. Um, so, but if you, but we'll we'll see what's going to happen. We'll see. Spelling doesn't always count in this particular thing because I think JT uh, the only. Ah, uh, that's true. But uh, you know what? Does JT that line pronunciation I, I does? The line <laughs> that, uh, the does. collection of egos there sometimes right. is too hard for me to take. But there's something there's something about JT's tournament here his path it's impressive to sit back and watch even i a man who who as i said before once picked jt up uh, at a bus stop and took him to school to watch him grow to this point it it is uh, it's 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 interesting it's interesting. come this and, far i mean they let sam have it they obviously let me have it they've been talking for a while yeah um, i just think tom dagnino's mouth is made out of horse manure at this point but uh, you look at you look at everything going on these guys want the belt and what's crazy about it mm -hmm. there is a scenario that either one of these guys mm -hmm. could be a double champion by the end of spectacular Obviously, That's there's true. a lot they need to do a lot, and one of those things is beating me and beating, uh, you know, taking the titles or keeping the team titles. But I'm ready to go. This is going to be some exciting stuff. I am ready to go as well. Final question for yeah. you. Who would you rather face? Give me an answer. I don't have a rather. I really don't. The no, legal I'm, answer I'm, that we I'm, have to have. I'm <laughs> sorry, I don't have a rather. I think that either one of these guys is going to be a good match. I mean, look, it would be okay. great to shut JT's mouth. He's been talking for a long time about how he would beat me. And then obviously to watch the Dagnino just yeah. cry in that stinky face of whatever yeah. that mess of a face he's got. Uh, yeah. And then you've got, uh, you know, you've got Levine. Who we, we go back a long way here. And I know yeah. Sam and I would have a nice a nice match. Is it a good story here or what's yeah. what's Sam has kind of gone through, so either one would be good for me, but I want to know the tale of the tape. Tale of the tape. You're looking at JT coming into this match off of uh, three big, tough victories in the tournament. Like you said, his strengths include Arnie and Sly, action adventure, and he once wore a t-shirt to prom. Sam Levine, his strengths include 70s classics, and he has a higher yes. IMDb star meter rating <laughs> than Ben Bateman. So, those are the strengths. Let's see what they got. All right, I'm ready to go if you're ready to go. I'm ready to go. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia. Shmona. Here we go. Five Let's rounds for the Ultimate Schmodown Singles Championship. All right. Introducing first. <laughs> These are both like my two favorite intro songs, too. <laughs> above the line. With a record of six wins. See the see the reaction. Just have them dance. Okay, they have a history of putting the camera too high and having to pan down, and they have to stop that. Oh, so. man, it's become a a, a, a a thing now. So I guess they want to keep doing it. No, so Oh, look at that graphic. You see how huh. those accolades have gone up. Yeah, they oh, keep they keep getting keep bigger. Piling up. The accolades keep going. Six and four. All right. <laughs> and his opponent. <laughs> with a record. Cops is there. <laughs> of eight wins. Six defeats. He is the 2015 Ultimate Showdown finalist. The 2017 Ultimate Schmodown finalist. He is the reigning undisputed team champion. 
Representing yeah. the Lions, then. This is a great song. Whoa. I can't. <laughs> Evo! Jake! T! E! JT gave me a little stink eye little on the way out here. Guy. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look, he loves it. He loves it. They haven't been back together in a while. Now they're all back together. Look at Grace. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, these, they, for a long, you can't, look, I hate them, but they've been, they've been running I, this show for a little bit. Man. You know, <laughs> yeah. lose it. And yeah, you even know how to spell that, you, you French beret lo yeah. lunatic. Finstock looks like he's directing a French porno. I think he is. He just went to the back. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, crowd. Crowd is here. They get the crowd yes. worked up every single time. The crowd is they ready did. to go. All right. Here we go. Round number one. Going to work like this. Mm. Eight questions. 15 seconds to answer the question worth one point apiece. When it is your time to answer the question, show the board to the camera and say it at the same time. Little Evil, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Sam Levine, are you ready? Ooh. I too am ready. Then let's get ready to schmoot out! Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Round number one, fantasy sci-fi. The never-ending story was released in which year? I just start with a movie release date. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess because I have no I idea. Know. Forget your pizza and rubber. No, 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 no. Five big moments. No idea. It's probably very wrong, but let's go with it. Two, one, pen down, evil. I went with 1989. Incorrect. 1987. Incorrect. 1987. Oh, 87. Oh, okay. All right, Ken. Good I year. I was. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I was 32 in 1984. <laughs> Category two well, is comedies. Comedy. Great start. Bruce Willis yeah. plays a master burglar and safecracker <sighs> in what action comedy? You okay over there? You, I'm just nervous. Uh, I'm okay. sorry. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Can you give, you give me your epiphany? Because I'm blanking Bruce right now. Willis I know. Plays a master burglar uh, most people hate this movie. In what action comedy? Thank you. It's a bonkers movie. Already angling here, already angling I'm, here. I'm, 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 yeah. I don't remember. Five, four, three. I will not blame them if they missed this. One pens down, Sam Levine. No, Hudson Hawk. That is correct. JT. Hudson Hawk. Oh, I was say GI Joe yeah. retaliation. I don't know. He got it right. I know he got it right. All right. He was in that. Drama. Dramas. That was an action comedy, right? What was the first Shakespearean tale? I don't think it was meant to, but yeah. Film directed by Kenneth Branagh. Oh, first. first. That's a good question there by the Scholastics. That's, that's tricky. Ooh. I'm thinking of the popular one, but I don't think that's it. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if that's very. Right. I'm gonna. It might be the popular one, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna shoot the dark. Three. I'm gonna say Hamlet. Two, one. JT. Yeah, I said Hamlet too, but it might be. Uh, Much ado about nothing. That's what I think it is. Oh. Uh, no. Okay. No. I took. I took the chance. Come on. Two one. JT taking a little lead here. All right, guys. Question four comes in the category of crime. Of course, it was the office. <laughs> yeah. Played Richie Cusack, mobster and brother to Viggo Mortensen's character in what film? I like what you did there. What? 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 Just sound like you. Stop it. We're just. Maybe. I just gave you a compliment. You just started on me. That's what I do now. Five, four. Oh, wait. Your pen is dying. Two, one. Pen no, no, what? Sam Levine. History of violence. History of violence. Correct, correct. Um, yeah. History of violence. That is correct. JT, on three, three, two. Mm -hmm. Not a perfect round, but a great round so far. So far. Got one. one. Here we go. This is not Actually, a good round. <laughs> no, it is not. This isn't. Well, this these isn't. are actually tough questions. Co-leads in Michael Mann's. Oh, um, hmm. they get this I'm seeing the poster. No I can't place that. the name. Yeah, I would. I would have a better would you chance answering the actual '80s stuff. Yeah, yeah. Five, four, three, two, yeah, one. JTE. Yeah, Colin Farrell and Jamie Foxx. That's correct. Sam. Colin okay. Farrell and Jamie Foxx. Two X's. The battle. Two X's. Oh. <laughs> battle oh. Four, oh four, person nine, with two three, M's would know that. JT spelled it like a feral cat. But that's <laughs> next one. That's how my game is, Ken. Here we go. All right, you nice. got it right, JT. You got it right. Question six comes in the category of '80s movies. Movies made in the greatest decade known to man. What '80s adventure <laughs> comedy was the Chris Columbus directorial <gasps> debut? 
That is a nice question. Oh. Nice question. The former champion Mark Riley throwing his arms up in the air saying, I know this. No, no, he just... These are some good, good questions. Wow. Five, I have four, no idea. I'm not good at directors. One, pen, I just said Home Alone, but I don't think that's right. And um, J uh, sorry, right. Sam Levine. Yeah, Adventures in Babysitter. That is correct. Oh, Evil. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah. Five, I didn't know he did that. I didn't either. Next one. Wow. Category of anime. I learned something today. Yeah. A Pixar film that has Good a first character film. voiced by former U.S. Marine R. Lee Emery. Ermy. Sorry. Don't mess it up again. Ermy. What? I have a phone call right now from him. Yeah. Yeah. It's your major malfunction, man. Marine Arlie Ernie. I have uh, JT this Well, you have to know who this is. It's great. <laughs> I'm probably going to, like, oh, I'd totally best, forget. Best hammer I'm is one. Really pens down, please. And we've got. He's in Toy Story. Let's Toy Story? Let's think correct. as. Yeah. Up? Oh, incorrect. No. So, Ooh, who for? who Story, was he? Story two or Story He's uh, Story the Sarge, no, the, guys, the little green. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. <laughs> So JT, this is one of my worst matches better. ever. JT, wow, this is great. I've got one. Lead, but we have the eighth and final question in the first round. It's a category of directors. Directors. Sense, directors. Well, I miss that. Who directed the Al Pacino film Dog Day After? I'm not good at directors. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Damn. I'm, I'm a fan of uh, Al Pacino. Mm -hmm. Not my day. I like when you. I I know I this, but I'm not gonna get it right. Oh, no. And five, I I four, I don't know. Three. Okay. All right, that is one of his JT. Rules. I just said Michael Mann, but I don't think that's right. Who directed the Pacino no, film Dog Day Afternoon? Might have been a stall tactic. Let's see Five, if it works. Four, three. No, this is bugging me now. <laughs> Sydney Lumet. That's correct. And JT. Oh, oh nice. Oh, so one point, Levine. Sydney Paul. That's a pain. Uh, that's a pain for JT. Yeah. Very great strategic move there by Levine. That's a Pollock painting. Get into round Pollock number painting. two here of these ultimate showdown finals. All right, well, that was depressing. Two, the wheel will yeah. come out. That's the worst I've spin ever done. Got four questions in the category. And yeah, they same. They can spin again if they don't like the category. They get the we shall not speak of this. Hands on a <laughs> choice. Delete this. Gives them each one for <sighs> unless you go to multiple choice, then it is one point you can steal from your opponent in this round. So, JTE, you're up six five. We want to go first or second? I'll go first. Go for it. Uh, I always like going first, Christian. Put Party and fly on the wheel on your opponent. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because the Patriots mm. I think, normally do that. Yeah, and it's a strategy change. Sam is usually the opposite. Like, oh. I see Meryl oh. Streep crime movies. Crime movies. Oh. So, uh, I feel like JT has committed crimes. Well, you got JT. I think he did. <laughs> Patriots I'll won. I'll stick with crime movies. He is yeah. sticking with crime and movies. The Patriots won. Too many others on there. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. Patriots wow. won the titles on a crime movie. You're right. You're right. I, I got, mm. it. got it. All right, here we go. But that's JT. with Snyder. <laughs> yeah, nice trip. What modern yeah. heist film features Woody Harrelson? Oh, now you see me. Oh, now you see me. Yeah. Dave Franco. Hmm. I actually like those. They're so dumb. That is correct. <laughs> Two right. points. Two you, all right. A little too dumb for my taste, but I see where you're coming from. They're so dumb. I now see where you're coming from. Rival Primo Sindon in what film? The Bronx Tale. I assume Casino. Wait. Wait, sorry. Say it again. It's not correct. Confirms. Casino. Wow. I don't think it's got front of two. So. Mm -mm. Yeah. Two. One. Bullets over Broadway. Correct. Looking for analyze this. Oh. Analyze oh. This. Wait. <laughs> analyze this. I did not go. I didn't go. I was not. Thinking <laughs> that is like completely. De Niro, Chaz were in Bronx Tales. So give me some. Yeah. Right. No, was all right. I, I forgot that he here was we, in there. Yeah, but he was. He was. I forgot about that movie. Huh? All right, here we go. He was a buster. All right. Who plays? I'm just gonna shut up and watch the match because I'm not doing good. <laughs> remake of the Italian job. Oh, Jason Statham. <laughs> Come on, JT. Jason Statham. Try to remember which Five, one. Multiple choice. Come four, multiple choice, dude. Let's go multiple choice. Is it A, Edward Norton? B, Jason Statham? C, Jason Statham? D, Ryan Reynolds? Five. Get it. I'm going to say A, Edward Norton? Incorrect. Damn it. Mark Wahlberg. Incorrect. Jason Statham. Oh, good. Uh, Jason Statham. Okay. Statham. 
Wow. wow. So nothing here. This is, wow, this is, a, this is a finals match. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> All right. Here we We're not in double digits I've, I've yet. I've never seen the movie. This is the fourth. <laughs> never saw the movie. This is the fourth question. Name the film. Shh. Name the film from the synopsis. Oh no. In the poverty-stricken favelas of Rio de Janeiro in the 1970s. Two young oh, that's the City of God. Pass. One yeah, I'm gonna say. The other, a drug dealer. Beat me to it. I'm gonna say the name. <sighs> I saw the. It's a great film. Well, poster. It is. People in the audience have seen this yeah. movie. Five. I was about to say children. Uh, I repeat the question. God damn it. Name the film from the. Children of Men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Wait, no, that's City of God. It's a very different, different movie. Not even paths. close. There is a movie One called a Children of God, but it's in, it's in like Pakistan. So that's not right. Boy, JT. All right took JT. His time. Wow, he took pulled his time. it. Uses one of his repeats, and now it is 10 5. Now Sam Levine is up. So, oh. Sam, you are up. Give it a spin. Now we're in the right, wheel. Interesting round there. Yeah, yeah. Didn't go maybe as well as JT would have wanted. Sam could have a big but round here. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. And uh -oh. that oh. is oh. rom-com. <sighs> wow. Rom-coms here from Sam. Huh. Do we know his record on this? What's he going to do here? Sam, you got... Uh. Five. That's a tough one. That's a really hard yeah. one to land on. Four. I'm going to uh, I'm going to attempt fate. Spin it again. Go again. Spin it again. He's trying for 80s. He's trying for 80s. Yep. The wheel has been nice to him this point of his it. career. He's not even look at it. He's just going to listen to the crowd and how yeah. they react. Going to listen to how they react. Oh! No! Holy crap. Look at that. He did it. He kept the wheel. Okay, Paul's, Paul's. Yeah. After his wife asked for a divorce. Cal, with the help of his newfound friend Jacob, learns how to pick up gar girls at <gasps> a bar in what- Oh, crazy stupid love. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, I was- I was about to say- That's like so <laughs> generic though. I was about to say, yeah, it could be like any guy who basically was Five, done for divorced. Four. Three. Save it, JT. Two. He's not gonna get it. Save it. Gas swingers? Incorrect, right. Sam. Why didn't I bet more? Crazy stupid love. One point. Yeah. Sam Levine now takes a one point lead here. You lost oh, a point. You lose a point. So Sam Levine say, has 12. JT only bet one, so it, it. it didn't hurt him that bad, but Sam right. does get the lead here. Wow. Goes That's right cool. up now to round yeah. number four. This is the speed round. Oh, speed round. Four. Five questions in the speed round, and it works like this. There will be Ooh. buzzers. The buzzers will come out. The competitors will get five questions. Alright, this is where JT shines, so... To answer yeah, he is very good. For some reason, he's really good at this. Indeed. If they answer correctly, Last time we, they were in the speed round, or Sam was in a speed round, speed round, uh, Ben Bateman and Andrew Guy just demolished. What? Um, love the line, in the speed round category, I mean. And a tag. JT. Inconvenient truth. Inconvenient truth. Correct, we're on point. Wait, what's your... Chris Farley and David Spade star in what movie about auto parts? Tommy Boy. Tommy, Tommy Boy. Boy. That's correct. There you go. All right. Peter McNichol plays Dr. Who's the game? Ghostbusters 2. That's correct. Yeah. Sam oh, 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 oh. Wow. Well done. All right, here we go. Next question. All right. Marty McFly says, nobody calls me. JT. Back to the future 2. Incorrect. Chicken. The answer was chicken. Chicken. Nobody calls oh, me. Oh, I can't stand it. Chicken. <laughs> what did he say? He says he didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he doesn't in the first one. Yep. I screwed up. Right, last question here. Last That's great. Question. To be fair, <laughs> no, no one does just... call him also back to the future. 2007's Ugh. adventure film Stardust. Is that Ian McKellen? Mm. Oh. Stardust, is that, um... Five. <laughs> Four, that's Vigo Morrison. Three, that's Vigo Morrison. Two, one. Is he with himself? It's Vigo. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, so no. Sam Levine oh. yeah. comes no back here with a three-point lead going into the fifth Ooh. round. This is the championship round. Yeah. Fifth yeah. round here for the final. Sam Levine is a three-point lead. Two things. That was, that was impressive. Fifth and final round. Fifth round works this way. The competitors will pick three numbers from. One to twenty. The first one is worth two points. Wow, this second is one, it. Three points. Third one, five points. Yes, All right, it. Sam Levine, you are up. First. I need Sam to get animation on uh, the five pointer, please. Eight, three, 
12, JTE. I uh, will go 5, 12, 13. 5, 12, he really took 12 already. Oh, he did 11. He 5, 11, 13. Yeah. Yeah. JT, 5, 11, 13. Sam Levine, 8, 3, 12. Take a shot. With JTE. JTE, you picked category number 5. All right, JT, category number 5. You chose for your two-pointer, animated. Animated films. Here we go. JT well, in Stranger Things. All right, it's off the board now. Voices the main villain, Swackhammer. I'm gonna oh, say, Danny uh, DeVito. Danny DeVito. Yeah. Two points on Danny DeVito. Okay, that's correct. That's a big fat green guy, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Danny All right, DeVito. So two points for JT. And Harris. Cody's Harris. dancing Harris. in the background. Three points. Hey, Jane. You chose category underrated 11. masterpiece. Category Not really. 11. Feels like it. Oscar movies. Oscar movies. Which song from 1994's The Lion King did Elton John win? Oh, Steve's getting to love tonight. Getting to love tonight. Love tonight, yeah. Can you feel the love tonight? Don't go for the better circle of life. Don't do it. 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 Sam Levine, now for his two-pointer, he chose category number eight. All right, number eight corresponds to the category of crime films. Crime films, two-point question, two-point question to tie the game, Sam. Who played Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson's boss in In Bruges? Ray Fiennes. That's there you correct. Go. Tie game. Ray Fiennes. Tie game. All right, so we're going to go to back to oh, the yeah. first three-pointer here. Oh, yeah. Is that the oh, wait. He chose is that where... number three? So number that three, scene. that is. We have the, 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 oh, well. Camera. You're an yeah. damn fucking guy. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I use that all the time. One question. In what city does Healy track down Mary after being hired to find her in There's Something About Mary? Uh, uh, Miami? That's three correct points. for three. Yeah. Yeah. Correct for three wow. Points. Comes down to the last All right, two. it's 19-16. Sam Levine has the lead. JTE needs to hit his five-pointer to bounce it back to Sam or Sam Levine will be challenging me at the Spectacular <laughs> for the championship. Here it is. By the way, this is a great in match with Carlos. I mean. Of Denzel Washington in John Q. Okay. Denzel plays a desperate father trying to secure a heart transplant for his son, who played Dr. Turner, who performed the operation at the end. No of idea. I saw that movie once when it came out. <laughs> just, just whoosh. Five, four. Repeat the question. In John Q, Denzel plays oh, a desperate yes, no. father trying to get a heart transplant for and his son. And he can son. pull this out. Dr. Turner mm -hmm. performed the operation at the end. Like, the this, the question has all the information I know about this film. That's all I know. Four, three, two. William Hurt. Wow. Oh, wow. He did it again. Oh, curse doesn't exist. Sam, the Chris curse has been broken. James I will point out the other James time that was the it was broken James was also with the JTE match. Wow. Whoa. Too what sure. But something about JTE. He has just won both of the ultimate showdown yeah. tournament. Wow. Holy crap. He did. Sam Levine. Is Sam Levine. Second title shot. At the spectacular here, he's getting a team title. We are shot. sitting he's on Sam Levine, guys. This guy is he's won the top. Brawl, and he's won both tournaments. Had Sam, Levine, going there. Sam Levine making a run for player of the year here. Absolutely, but you, JTE, I mean, that's a tough yeah. one question. What a run in this tournament. I, I begrudgingly admit, I have a, I have an ounce of respect for what JTE did yeah. coming into this day here. Uh, it was tough, but Sam, oh, this is a guy who always was a top contender, always had something to prove, had some big losses, some bad wheel spins, and now he is at the top of the heap, going to climb against you. It's going to be something else. I got to be honest, I was, I didn't know what was going to happen there. Yep. Um, you, Sam. Sam Levine, the luck is definitely on his side. Fate is on Fate. his side. Fate is on his side right now. He is he is really playing sharp. I mean, look, like I said, free for all winner, ultimate schmodown winner, collision a uh, collision main event. Um, he's won two tournaments and now he's going to be main eventing with me at the spectacular. 
Wow. I yep. mean, you got to give it to him. JT mm -hmm. played his heart out. May have been him just came up from both those matches. Let's hope Tam doesn't have any uh, there you go. movies at so the time. Sturger <laughs> has got both That's going to be a long day for Sam. JT yes. behind the scenes. Here we go. Could it What's be to his detriment? Out? I'm Jen Sturger here with your winner and new Jen. 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 contender. Uh, I'm Sam Levine. Jen Sturger, here with your winner and new contender. Sam Levine, that was an amazing match. Thank you, Jen. That was uh, everything I hoped it would be and more. Um, that I am still <laughs> beside myself with surprise that it played out the way it did. I really did not think uh, that I was going to be able to beat Bibiani, Roca, Cushing, and VTE to get here. That is Your a road to get here was rush insane. more of players in the league. So uh, I am as surprised as anyone. Uh, you know, it, it comes down to obviously there's a luck factor. We always talk about the luck factor. And. Uh, you know, I, I definitely hitting uh, Spinner's Choice in round two on my second spin. Uh, that was uh, that was probably the make or break for me today. Let's talk about that for yeah. a second. So you landed on romantic comedies the first time. Yes. You hesitated. You thought about it. I really did, because I mean, I, I know I think probably more rom-coms than a typical straight uh, single man. Uh, but I didn't know, you know <laughs> how crazy in depth they're going to go with their questions. And there were about five or six other categories on the wheel I would have felt more confident in. So I, I took my chance, spun it again. I couldn't even look at the wheel. I was so nervous. <laughs> I looked away. I was going to let the crowd mm. noise tell me where it had landed. Ow. And uh, much to my great delight, it landed on Spinner's Choice. Now, you took a pretty unconventional uh, way of choosing what you were going to go for in that round yeah. two. I did. What made you choose movie release dates? What um, was your strategy going in there? You know, I, like everyone, thought I was bad at movie release dates uh, in general. But every time I, I, I'm playing along at home in a match and movie release dates comes up, I found that I hit a lot more than I miss. And so my thinking was twofold. I thought I would go with it because maybe I'll hit him. But more importantly, if I miss him, I felt very confident that JT was not going to steal the points. Yeah. So now. What? And for the record, uh, I missed Bill and Ted. The only one in that category I missed. I said 88. It was 89. It's because I was thinking of the graphic in the movie. Right when they lift up the garage door and all the smoke comes out, it says San Dimas, 1988. That's what my brain was saying. Oh, makes sense now. Yeah. So, I mean, not to point out the obvious, but you have the chance to be a double champion. I do? Yes, get the hell out of here. I don't know if you do that or not. I, I've, I've heard, I, you know, if This if has after, been a hell of a tournament for you. It really has. Are you just riding that wave right now of the high? I think, I think I, I am. I mean, there's got to be some sort of magical star alignment that allowed me and Drew to get as far as we did and uh, me to get as far as I have in the singles tournament. And uh, boy, oh boy, mm -hmm. I just me and Drew and me again come up empty. Uh, in those title matches, I'm just gonna have to. Oh hey, yeah sure. Oh, hello, hey Christian. My hello, my friend Sam. How are you? Man? Wow. I'm good. How you doing? Good one. Oh, thank you very it was, much. It was good. You beat you thank beat you so that oh. you beat that little evil, and I'm gonna tell you that after your interview, I'm going to do a strut in front of them with the belt because I know how bad he wanted it, and now uh, he can't. So yeah. look for that. Um, listen, man, you have had a hell of a year. It's it's something else. It really is. I mean, yeah. you took you took. Dan Merle, you almost took Dan Merle. The I went the distance. Yes. It was Rocky one. I went the distance with the champ. That's all I wanted to do. You take the free for all. Yeah. You take the ultimate showdown on team, yeah. and now you take the ultimate showdown on singles. I have no idea what's happening. It's crazy. And now we've talked about it. We have, we have talked about it many times. Yeah. You and I are going head to head for this thing. Man. Oh right. boy. We kind of, but finally, the, because we've talked about when I asked you to be part of this, I, yeah. I, I had deemed you the Tyson of this league. You did. You, that you did. Well, now you got a chance. Okay. Um, but I have now, because I'm not committed <laughs> anymore. I have a little bit of a new fire in me. Ooh. So I think to me, what would be fun is to beat you. Because I think what would be good is the fact that you did this great thing. Uh -huh. did, but I think now. I'm, I'm competitive, and I, I think in the fact that you are making a run for Player of the Year, yeah. I would say some would say that I have a shot to be Player of the Year as well. I don't know anyone is saying that. I I I I I I say that I do. Mm. I make a lot of. <laughs> that's, that's true, and I'm I'm well, real squirrely say, about that. That's fine. I'm gonna be all oh, Star no. Wars and Arnold questions. That's fantastic. Um, but no, I, I'm I'm completely kidding. Uh -oh. I cannot wait to play you. I think. Could we have Harloff make a um, heel turn? Yeah, to, <laughs> thank you very much. Good luck to you too. Also, that fire might be hemorrhoids, so you should. Get that it's uh, always kind of edged the line. I feel like he wants to, but. As commissioner, he feels like he can. 
Thank you, Mr. Harloff. So, congratulations again. Thank that you. was a really well thought match. Thank You've got to you. be pretty stoked. I'm very excited. I'm mostly happy to be talking to you again because it hurts my neck a lot less. <laughs> guy, how did he even get him you in gotta frame? Stick, <laughs> stick him. Yeah, really. But, Sam, congratulations. We are all rooting for you. Thank you, Jen. And nice. uh, best of luck to you. Thank you very much. Oh, Here we go. Sam. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I'm Jen Scherger here with JT. Mm. JT, that was a hell of a match. Mm. I have Let to me get grab a the mic here, sweetie pie. Uh, <laughs> now, all right, so Grace can't interview anymore from, I don't know, where'd that come down from? George C. Scott, General Patton, Thad. <laughs> Guy makes an appearance every once in a while. This is ridiculous. Okay, look, <laughs> no disrespect to Sam Levine. He played a great game today. He was lightning fast in the thing. But Spinner's Choice and Opponent's Choice should not have been on the wheel. Yeah, I mean, you had him up against the ropes those first yeah. two rounds, and then what happened? I want to say this straight to the camera. I want to say congratulations to the one and only Spinner's Choice. Once again, you have caused something to happen that shouldn't have happened. You won again. Congratulations. <laughs> All of my congratulations go to you, Spinner's Choice. That's why he won. But you have to admit, Sam had an incredible match, especially in the speed round, right? Listen, he had an incredible match. If I had Action Adventure, if I had my choice of the spin, then I would have won. I would have um, Yeah, but you were JTE still his. ahead. How did you feel about the him second round? Uh, movie release dates. Uh, listen, people know what they're good at. I totally understand that. Oh, what's up, boss? What is this? Get out of here. Of yeah, he's. You know why he's doing that? He's happy because he knows he just won the championship again. He knows he doesn't have to face me. So wait, are he's you like, saying? Oh my God! I dodged another bullet. Thank you, Spinner's uh, Choice. He probably kisses that thing when he leaves the office every day. He's like, oh, thank you, Spinner's Choice. You saved my life. So you don't think that so, Christian mm -hmm. is gonna lose to Sam Levine? So much oh, for himself. I think Christian thing, will then. not lose. I think he. Was he? Man, that wheel might have a magnet on it or something. He probably has a remote behind there. He's like. Did you have something to add, Tom? Yeah, it's just, a it's just incredible how the, you know the cheating levels rise to like astronomic levels of cheating when he sits on the t on a table here. Yeah. I don't understand. You know, when you're a champion, you get to dictate what's on the wheel for the yep. most part. Every match Spinners, we have, yeah, it shouldn't take it on the wheel. Now the guy miraculously comes back from like a hiatus and next thing you know it's back on the wheel and things are going in his favor you know it's it's ridiculous this is it's what happened. honestly this is what happened he he, he spun got romantic comedies <laughs> sitting there is like do i do i spin again he looked over christian christian went like this i did see something and he spin it right out <laughs> i guarantee you it's experience. pretty sure that's not there's some robert happens. redford that's quiz show shit going on oh here. totally that's a, that's a cookie. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways, so now that we that we're that you're out of singles, how are you feeling still about defending your team belts? I, I'm not even worried about that. We're gonna beat Drew. We're gonna beat Sam. He's not because guess what? We're champions. We get to decide whether it's gonna turn on the wheel. Gonna lose. I'm looking forward to the number one contenders match. I deserve it. I want a shot. Uh, this is I. I should have won this damn spectacular thingy. Whatever you want, call it schmo down tournament, whatever. It's all bull crap. Everything in this league is made for me to win. I should not be losing. Back to you guys. All right. So no surprise there that uh, Jim Scott and, or whatever the hell. Is you can like see him going back to Little Evil. <laughs> yep. Going back full on. Indeed. Uh, indeed, indeed, indeed. 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 I saw that movie once, but that's the name of the game. And Sam Levine. Like you said, I, I showed up myself in that interview and I had some words with them. And yeah, yeah. I came back. Thanks for running back. You're welcome. Sam, Thanks for running back. But look, this, is, uh, this was, a, this was did, exactly sir. what we wanted. This was a great finals. This is a great finals. Yep. But it really sets the stage here because Sam Levine now gets revenge on his – he got his revenge for his partner, uh, yep. Drew McWeeny, and beats JTE. But now JTE and Snyder, they both want revenge against yep. Sam Levine because Levine has beaten Snyder. He has beaten JTE. They're going to want to prove it because if Sam Levine can take those belts off of the Patriots yep. and then – yeah, he's got a shot to take this. We could have our first double champion. He could be walking know. around with two belts held up high there. Yeah, the subtext, the stories that are building for these two men. Sam could be the one to uh, say all the belts. The they're, they're, yeah. They're getting, uh, they're getting intricate. All right, guys. So Ironic. Go and go and comment right now. What do you think of the match? Can Sam Levine take the title from me? Will he be a double champion? What's going to happen at the Schmodown Spectacular? One thing we do know is that Sam Levine will be in two of them. Check out the movie trivia Schmodown Facebook app go at facebook app or just the app just go to that app play the app go play your friends online join a world league join a league wherever you live live it is on ios right now 
Ken Napsok, hell of a match. It was great. This tournament was amazing. New stars made and a, and a future champion may be crowned. If you uh, you got something to say about that, though. I do have something to say. It'll be a future champion. It'll be for the teams. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you guys once again for the pit boss, Ken Napsok. Uh -huh. I'm Christian Harloff. See you next time. Oh, yeah. What's going on, everyone? I keep forgetting about Frankie Numbers. <laughs> yep. The fun surprise every time. Yeah, I think, like, are we going to have, like, an after credit? Oh, okay, that's Frankie Numbers. Defeating JTE 19-16. to This first round wasn't as high scoring as all the previous matches. Wow, Frankie. is the second most points he's ever scored. And Levine was his usual oh, self for the huh. most part with his five points. Yeah, really? In tournament play, the winner of the match loses the mm. first round only 17 percent he has got to get better that first round then jesus round a bit more fireworks with the wheel adding to the drama but not before a jte could have one of his worst second rounds of his career the last time jte went two for four was in his uh. shocking defeat against cody miller over a year ago in his previous three oh wow in this tournament he was a combined 10 of 12. as for levine when it came to his turn he tempted fate by spinning a second time and was rewarded with Spinner's choice in opting for movie release dates. It's the first time in singles competition history that this category has been deliberately selected. And to Levine's credit, he won three of four, <gasps> but he did give up a huge really? point steal to JTE. This was the best hasn't been playing a lot. Point steal successfully converted yeah. against him compared to the surprise. Mance hasn't gotten Spinner's choice in big movie release dates yet, but. Now. Despite JTE's two point oh. steal and one point lead, I could have sworn the guns round, was in his choice in teams. In the third That's what I was thinking, round. but JTE would lose one point on I the don't know. I just maybe, assume maybe Frank does I, everything. I, I, I kind of remember. And JTE would go one for two in the split. Uh, and JTE's only previous five round match. Maybe it was just round movie round release dates and they didn't get the spinner's choice, but. For four. I know they got spinner's well, choice. And then he didn't do as great as people thought he was. Thou shalt like, sh oh. yeah, sh not doubt the, the numbers. Yes, that is very true. I apologize. I apologize for I, I apologize too because I'm doubting the numbers. No matter what. Never doubt the stats. I'm ready to get a, to, to get a Facebook message in the night saying, man, you were wrong. I have proof. I got the numbers. Got the receipts. Play, two of which happened in I keep tournament. them all. And there's 18 overall throughout 100 plus matches in the Schmodown. Unfortunately, JTE could only answer his first two questions. And the the game total game look of bewilderment on, his on JTE's face when that question game came out. It's like, there's no way. On December that's 20th the worst Christian possible. possible. Now let's dive. Yeah, what it's like, I have knowing. no clue. Yeah. JTE ultimately played his worst game of the tournament, going 12 of 19 for a 63% uh, accuracy rate. He yeah. ended his winning streak at four and was not able to become the fourth player wow. of the game and have a five game winning streak. Sam Levine, on the other hand, he played a fairly above average game, going 13 of 19. 11 and 9. Wow. 68%. And by winning today's match, he became the seventh huh. player in history. To record a four game winning streak. In this four game stretch of the tournament, he answered nearly 71% of his questions correct, and his 73 points is the second most during a four game win streak. Because this five round match wasn't nearly as precise as others have been in the past, not too much happened when it came to setting records. The only notable change happened on the all time points leaderboard. JTE's 16 points bumped him up to number two on the list. And it should be noted that he ties wow, the quality. <laughs> with Josh McCuga. As for Sam Levine, his 19 points boosted him from 6th all the way up to the 4th spot. Wow. Just missing out on that number 2 spot by a few points. And remember, if you want more in-depth stats and info on your favorite players and teams, go follow SD Rundown Stats wow. on Twitter. And if you want to listen to a full breakdown and analysis of this and every other match, be sure to check out the Schmodown Rundown podcast every week on the SK Plus YouTube channel, as well as on the Schmoes No podcast feed on iTunes. And this is going to do it for your post-match <laughs> Schmodown breakdown. And um, there we wow. go. And then that. Okay, cool. We're good to go, guys. Wow, wow, wow! That match was uh, jaw-dropping. Manning, what are your thoughts? 
Uh, my first thoughts are initially, this is not as high of a scoring match as I expected to be considering mm -hmm. this five round final. But at the same time, that was not take away from the fact that it was still an amazing match. People going back and forth. Uh, Indeed. Okay, questions right and wrong. That's, but that's the nature of the game, so I guess that's not too shocking. But considering how a nail-biter it was at the very end, I consider this a great match and worthy final. And I'm kind of glad the curse of Chris Clark is <laughs> not applicable to this situation because I'm happy is Sam won. It's because seeing him taking the goal was, uh, or going on the road to take the goal is really satisfying because he's a great competitor. But also JT, he's also a great competitor, so it was kind of sad also seeing him because he had a great Cinderella story. Yep, indeed. Amen to that. Jen, what are your thoughts? <laughs> this is a disappointing match in more than one way from our own technical issues. And just for me, that was those were hard questions. Whenever movie release dates comes up, I just kind of clock out because I'm not going to do well at all. But not to take anything away from Sam, like he definitely earned his spot here. And for once, I will be rooting for him and him alone when he goes up against Christian. Nothing against Christian. I just want to root for Sam, finally. So I think he can take it. I think he, he's earned his spot. He's going to get that belt. He's not going to get the team belt, though. you got to hold on to it. So give JT something. So, yeah, JT is going back to a little evil, but uh, just don't call him back to the future, too. I don't know. That's it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, this match was fantastic. Uh, both players played their... I would say JT probably played one of his worst matches in a long time. Uh, Sam killed it as usual. Spinach choice is really, really kind uh, above the line in all of them. So this match is great. Again, I'm glad I was finally right for once in a blue moon, which I have been right <laughs> in the past, but it's been rare. Anyway, this match was fantastic. You guys seem to have loved it. Uh, Jen, where can people find you online? You can find me on Twitter and start us at JK Meme Queen and all the showy pages, the pages on there. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Manny, where can people find you online? You can find me here at Tech3 Productions doing multiple things like reactions or summits or whichever one they have had me on. Or also yep. Geeks and Gamers will like sometimes will do articles as well as edit podcasts. And of course you can find me on Twitter at Cine underscore man. That is C-I-N-E underscore M-A-N-N. Manning, man, get it. Good. <laughs> Uh, fun, spelling bee. <laughs> funny as hell. And uh, I'm Chris Clark. You can find me on Twitter at ChrisClark8788. Those numbers mean nothing. You can find me hosting Suddenly Soundtracks here on Take 3, which mm -hmm. is a show about movie music, which we go in depth on each song, and it's a fantastic uh, hour or so of, of greatness. Or you can find me on YouTube at No Man's Land Entertainment. And you can find me and hopefully some people on this panel on The Summit, which will be released on Monday. So, yes, yeah, so... I can't wait to get involved in the summit. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, take care and keep rocking.